Many times, the person I'm working with would then go into a spasm.、Um, sometimes a very painful spasm that takes a relatively long time, upwards of a couple minutes, to actually release. Hi, everybody, and welcome to your second 50, where I explore topics intended to optimize every body. 50, 60, 70, and above. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Judy Terrell Show. I am health coach Judy Terrell, and I am a 60-year-old woman, female, and I have done 11 Ironmans, and I just finished my last one about three months ago with triple compartment severe arthritic、uh, knees. I did not gain one single pound as I went through menopause. I work in this health and fitness and well-being industry for 42 years, and I've worked with clients 50 plus for the last 10 years as my specialty. So 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and now even 90s. So I have a mass, a lot of experience from working with older clients, and I am an older client myself. And I have a ton of information that I want to relay. To the population I'm targeting, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and beyond, because there's a lot of information that's out on the internet and you know for public consumption. And but in my opinion, it's not geared to the 50 plus market. Even though sometimes they say it is, it is definitely very little geared towards the 60, 70, and 80 year old population. And therefore, I am doing this series, which is series number nine. And the topic of this series, which is six parts, is how we can use dynamic stretches. And by the end of this series, you will have six individual stretches that can become your daily routine. All right, and how we can use dynamic stretching, which I'll explain in a second, to reverse the various pain and joint and muscle discomfort and pain syndromes that we manifest. From repetitive movements that we are doing every single day of our lives on the planet. Okay, so why I came up with this topic is because I do have a population, sixty, seventy, eighty year olds, and what I started to recognize is that people would come in and they would tell me about the same areas of their body and the same, you know, experiences of discomfort and pain, and and then I started to think about this and why would that be? And it's because in my assessment. We are doing repetitive motions. That if somebody was doing in a sport, I would then give them exercises to to、um, balance the effects of those repetitive motions. Like so, for instance, if you're a golfer, you have a golf swing. You go one direction every time. If someone comes to me who's a golfer, I'm going to give them some exercises to go the opposite direction because their sport is creating an imbalance to one side. Now, in everyday life, we don't necessarily have imbalances. We might, but what I'm addressing here in this series isn't necessarily imbalances one side versus the other, but it's that we're doing things that keep us in certain positions more than others, and then cause shortening and tightening and misalignments in our joints, tightening of our muscles, which then results in tendonitis, bursitis, labral tears. You know.、Um, Um, arthritic conditions, a whole host of diagnoses that, in, before they get to be, you know, where the, there's been a critical breakdown of the tissue, these dynamic stretches that I'm teaching can actually pull you out of pain, even though you're still doing the same repetitive positions and activities in everyday life, because now you've got something to do to balance them better. All right. So now, with that as our, you know, springboard. Um, I am saying that these, this series is addressing、uh, is geared towards seventy plus men and women. It can be done by anybody, but the reason why I'm saying seventy plus is because most of my clients who are seventy plus have a difficult time if they can get down to the floor where most stretches are done,、um, and so the stretches that I'm showing are things that you can do either standing or sitting, so you're in an upright position. All right, so seventy plus is my target population for these stretches, but like I said, anybody can do them. Now, this is number four in the series, and I've kind of been moving down the body. So we did some wrist and elbow and forearm. We did、um, center back, and、uh, that affects the neck and the lumbar spine or the lower back、um, and pain syndromes in those areas.、Um, 
we did the front chest and that area getting tight and then causing shoulder and um, other impingements in the upper, in the, in the shoulder area. And now number four, so I'm kind of working down the body. I'm now going into the lumbar spine, the lower back. Okay. I mean, lower back, my back is tight. You know, it, it goes around, it, it, it's across here. You know, it, it, sometimes it wraps around into the front. These are the kind of things that I would hear over and over again, day after day from my 60 and older clients. And so I'm addressing this particular area, but there are no muscles that go across the lower back. So there's muscles that go up and down on either side of the spine, both on the uh, um, peripheral on the outside and then deeper into the body. But what I observe is that many of us are, we spend a lot of time sitting, especially as we get older. And so what happens is the front of our hips, and I'm just going to bring my camera down a little bit. I'm sitting right now. So the front of my hips, this is a shortened angle, all right? So, so what happens is you're being pulled this way. I'm exaggerating, which then takes your spine out of alignment. And these muscles are short. And so that can create problems and pain syndromes in the lower back. So because we sit so much and the front hip flexors get very tight, we need to stretch the front hip flexors. Now, I've said this in all four of the episodes so far, three of the episodes, I'm going to continue to say this in the rest of the episodes in this series too. And that is when I have tried in the past in my naivete um, to ha then stretch, like take the muscles and then pull them along and then ask somebody to hold that, which is a typical dynamic, I'm sorry, static stretch. The person I'm working with would then go into a spasm, um, sometimes a very painful spasm that takes a relatively long time, upwards of a couple of minutes to actually release. And so the stretching technique that I'm showing in this series is not static stretching, which can traumatize the muscle into a spasm, but what is known as dynamic stretching. And dynamic stretching, simply put, is this, that you're, you stretch the muscle and then you make it, and then you let it go back. You stretch it. It's almost like a rocking chair. So you're stretching it, releasing it, stretching it, releasing it. And as you do the repetitions, you'll see that you can get a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper. And as you're doing them progressively, one day, five days, a month, you know, a quarter of a year, and, and consistently, these muscles then, they release and they go back to having the ability to stretch and contract in their fuller range and don't get locked up in these little tiny ranges if they can move at all, okay? I am so excited to announce your second50.life. I have been working in the fitness industry with individuals, both men and women, over 50 years old for 42 years and really specialized in the last 10 on over 50. I'm over 50 myself by a long shot. And I've helped literally thousands of men and women both to lose the extra body fat that they gain in the second half of their life, to feel better in their own bodies energetically. Uh, I have helped people to reverse and eliminate health problems, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, pre-diabetes, um, symptoms of menopause, um, to name just a few. On this platform, you will have access to a entire body of resources, exercise videos, uh, mini courses, eating plans that are specially designed for over 50 men and women because there's special needs for our demographic. And in addition to the virtual resources that you'll have access to if you join at any time that you'd like, you also have access to me for one-on-one -on -one coaching through a, a group coach call every month. So you can bring your specifics and we can address those as you're also getting information that is specific to the over 50 population, 50s, 60s, 70s, and now 80s is the demographic that I'm working with. So it's your second 50 dot life, Y-O-U-R-S-E-C-O-N-D, 5 -O dot life. Go check it out. It might be the, the single best thing that you've looked at, like in your second 50s. So this is what the definition of dynamic stretching is. I call it internally massaging the muscles. Okay. So now I'm going to show you a dynamic stretch for the front of your hips. All right. You do have to stand up for this, but like I said, in a, in a prior episode, I think like 95% 
if you're at, you know, autonomous and not in a, you know, home where you need assistance, you can stand up. So we're going to have, I'm going to have you stand up. I'm going to stand up and I'm going to show you, you know, so just to illustrate, I was just sitting. So this is what it looks like when I'm sitting. So if I go to stand up, these are so tight that you go to stand up and oftentimes it then it tilts the pelvis. So you're standing, but you got some crazy, you know, misalignments going on here. And then, you know, your, your back muscles are in a compromised, not uh, optimal or ideal position. And it's, and if you, so, so we're going to address the front hips. And so standing up, you know, you, many people might be able to stand up, but now I'm going to take you one step further to get these front hips to stretch. So you can put your hands on your hips. And you're going to actually press your hips forward, almost like you can do a back bend, and then come back to neutral. So press your hips forward, come back to neutral. Now, as you're doing this, an important piece is as you're coming forward, you want to pull your tailbone down, which is lengthening the front hips. So you're leaning forward, but you're also pulling your tailbone down as you're doing it. So it's like a it's a forward back motion. At the same time, it's a tilting motion. All right. So 15 repetitions is our number, all right? And it's dynamic, so you're gonna go one, and then back to neutral. Tilt, two, and you can even, even use your fingers. You take your thumbs and push them down and pull the hip bones up with your fingers. Four, and stretch, five. And as you go, if you can go deeper, but you don't wanna strain, you don't wanna put them into a trauma, so you're gonna stay within the range where when you do the tilt and you lean forward, you're getting a little further than you would normally go, but if you feel any pull or strain, then you went too far, back off that. I'm gonna guess this to be about nine. And press 10, 11, and you're not holding, you're dynamically moving to stretch. So every time you lean back and tilt forward, you're stretching, but you're not holding it and potentially putting those muscles into a spasm. And let's call this 15. And then done. And then you can walk back to your chair. Let's say that you were watching TV and there was a commercial. You can stand up and do that and then come back and sit down again. But the reason why I'm saying that these are helping to reverse the positions and the repetitive patterns that we are in in our everyday life is that, you know, most of us, we wouldn't get up from that chair. We might be sitting either watching TV or even working or, you know, knitting or doing a project, sitting down, any number of things that keeps us in that shortened front hip flexor position for extended periods of time. So I'm telling you that was a 15 rep set that I just de demonstrated. But what I'm suggesting to you is that we do that not just one time a day, but you break it up and through the day, pick three times, maybe the morning, the mid-afternoon, at night, maybe two times at night, one time in the morning. It doesn't really matter. It would be well placed in a, in a daytime where you are, you are sitting more consistently. But you're going to do three sets of 15 of those stretches and dynamic stretches and releases each day. And every one of these six uh, exercises that I'm giving you in this series should be done every day. Because if you only do them once a week or a couple times a week, that's not enough repetition to really have any effect to balance and bring you from extended, you know, time in these other positions and then balancing to here, like more of the mid zone between too tight and too loose, right? Most of us are too tight. We want to too tight. We want to move towards the too loose. And so spreading these out through the day and doing three sets of 15 for each of these six um, is the way that I would design it if you were working with me one-on-one. -on -one. All right, everybody. So this is exercise number four, stretch number four, dynamic stretches to reverse the everyday movement patterns that are causing or at least factoring into pain and discomfort in our muscles and our joints. And the one I just showed you, it's not going to manifest necessarily in the front hips pain. It might though. Some people have groin pain, but most of why I'm showing you the, this, this particular stretch is to get some relief for the lower back where these muscles are in extended positions and locked in those positions for extended periods of time. And we need to get the front release so that the back can then relax a little bit and you can get out of spasm and tightness. All right, everybody. So this is episode number four in the series. We have two more to go. Stay tuned for them. 
I want you to make your second 50 years on this planet even better than your first 50. That is my goal. That's what I want to make your goal. And so um, you must have that because that's why you're probably watching this. So we're like minds, great minds think alike. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. Stay tuned for the next two. And in the meantime, be well. Thanks for listening, everybody. And if you'd like to have access to more of my resources, then you can reach me at Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. You can go to my new platform at yoursecond50.life. That is Y-O-U-R-S-E-C-O-N-D-5-O.life. Or at my website, www.judyturell.com.